love walking in Rhino and Five Points and seeing all of the different artists on the walls and the big artists that are like literally worldwide famous and some of those pieces being in our neighborhoods and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I owe a lot to it because it's ultimately what got me interested in learning more about, all right, well, why do people do this and what impact does it have on the community? Street art and murals definitely bring exposure to the artists and it helps create a community in these new developments. They used to put more money into like the architecture, like the interior design. And then they realized like, oh, like art's actually cheaper, but then also it, it supports local artists. Sometimes graffiti writers may look down on places like Rhino and say like, oh, they're gentrifying our culture and things like that. However, it gets the neighborhood involved and I've only seen beautiful things that come from street art. I'm specifically looking for a, a lot of like minorities and marginalized communities when I am curating. Partly because people want that too and they want local artists, but we also want to keep in mind like what artists would best fit this job and like add value to this project. If you're trying to target a certain demographic, bringing in a street artist that you know and love that aligns with like your goals and your visions and your values can obviously benefit any business. The most famous brewery that I have painted for was Lady Justice Brewery in Aurora. They loved the first wall that I did so much that they wanted me to do like the rest of their walls in there. But also, you know, I was able to benefit from their fan base as well. Everyone that I work with really cares about them and we're really trying to support them and we're bringing them a job. And we have like a set budget that we can pay you and we pay you in increments so you're never not getting paid for work that you have already done. A lot of people when they're first starting out paint for free by just simply talking to business owners who may have blank walls or murals already on their building. And I don't paint walls every single week. It's just unrealistic. It's a lot on your body, it's just, long hours. It's exhausting for sure. I don't get much sleep because <laughs> I still feel like I have to have like that hustle mentality because if I'm not working, I don't get paid. And if I don't get paid, then I can't support my family. It's 100% male dominated. I'm not even going to front. It was very hard for me to kind of scoop my way in. However, I've also had a lot of male um, mentors that have given me a lot of really good opportunities as well and have taught me so many things. And so I feel like if you're coming with the right intentions, it's just like with any other industry, it makes a difference when you're not just painting whatever or whatever because it's the cool thing to do versus like, no, I'm an artist and this is what I believe in and this is why I feel like my art should be on these walls. 